and you might not have running water, you might not have electricity, you might probably won't be able to go to school. All realities suffered by children living in the developing world, but experienced in Kelowna through the eyes of grade six students. It's called the Global Schoolhouse, an event put on by volunteers of Global Citizen, where over 2,000 students engage in interactive presentations. Our school is closed. The children in our village, sick. The schoolhouse encompasses the Millennium Development Goals, specifically Goal 2, Universal Primary Education. We go through four reasons, four simulated reasons why kids can't go to school. One of which, because they have to work. They're in, a uh, they're in a sweatshop, basically. Yes, but it's not a good job. Look at that. Uh, one is um, because they're a girl and they go through some of the situations what happens, what happens with a girl. One is um, AIDS other and other diseases, health issues, water issues, etc. But sadly, this is the situation in many countries in the developing world. And then the last one, there is a school, but very limited resources, and you have to have a uniform to get in. Do you yeah. think you could do it every day? No. For no. 12 hours a day? Not for 12 hours. Would you want to do this every day? Nope. Would you like to be in there every day? Yes. No. no. Why no. not? It's too tiny. Too tiny. No, no electronics. Through her nonprofit organization, Little Women for Little Women in Afghanistan, Elena Podmaro, who's been an activist since the age of nine, creates a simulation of the hardships young women face in Afghanistan when attending school. We are educating students about the reality in Afghanistan, and then we explain to them really how we can make that change, and we talk to them about the positive changes that are happening in Afghanistan, and our responsibility there is we're just creating a sense of awareness. After 10 years in the making, Global Citizen has grown from one speaker series to seven major events, with the Global Schoolhouse standing out as a big success. And it's to start conversations. You know, like, what, what is our responsibility? What can we do? And we're highlighting organizations, too, that, that uh, are local and they work internationally. Global Citizen wraps up with a speaker series on Monday evening. For more information, check out globalcitizenkelowna.org. For Castanet News, I'm Jen Zielinski.